Hello everyone, and welcome back to Playing by the Pound. This time we're checking out a game I meant to check out last Halloween for Playing by the Pound, but I ended up forgetting about doing so. This is Tonight It's Dangerous. Uh, this is a game made by Jinx Monalgo and Max Digital, I believe. Uh, the description reads, here it is, a game based off of the picture I made and a story Dexter wrote years ago. So basically a little collaborative art story, assets, uh, a story, and some artwork that took out a life of its own and became a game. <laughs> Navigate the hallways of a mansion to find the parts of a pump, and use it on Zeril, the puff crazy Rex, to stop him, lest you become the blimp yourself. Uh, apparently this is a pretty solid game, uh, and pretty good, like, horror... Playing by the Pound Horror is not very common, and that's what this is. So, I'm really intrigued by this one. Let's check it out. Let's see how spooky it is. See if it's actually a little bit scary. I don't know. But before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come on over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but of course, we need more consistent and average viewership. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. Because every person that comes by every single stream makes a world of a difference. Even just one extra person per stream would really add up fast. So consider coming by if you can. We'd love to have you. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. That being said, let's go ahead and hit new game. I don't know what the sound settings are like, but... Oh no, Zeril has lost it. I didn't think the big guy had it in him, but it seems he's gotten puff crazy again. Does that dang puff crazy addiction. Man, we got we got to get him on some sort of rehab program for that. I'll need to assemble the pump. I can use it to calm him down. I have to be careful though. He can hear my actions and will see my flashlight. If I can attract Zeril with a pump to get him into the ballroom, then inflate him with it. That should be enough. Wait, this house has one of those? Actually, where am I and how did I get here? <laughs> okay. Oh, there is sound. There isn't. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh. Wait, you guys don't see anything. What the hell? It's one of those games. Wait, do you guys. Do you guys see the game right now? Do you guys see movement right now? No, 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 no. But do you see movement or do you just steal still frame? Ooh, this game is doing that thing. One moment. I can fix this. At least I think I can. But, squat along, we're off! Oh, do I have to redo the intro? Nah, it's fine. Here, let me show you what you missed. Since, yeah, you missed something. So, for some reason, when this game is full screen, it won't capture correctly. It captures a frame when I tab out of the game. That's interesting. Uh, anyways, it's it should be fine as long as I'm not in full screen mode. If I gotta borrow this windowed, we're good. So we're good, we're good, we're fine. All right, let's hit new game. So here's what you missed. Oh no, Zero's lost it. I didn't think the big guy had him, but he's got puff crazy again. I need to simple the pump. I can use it to calm him down. I have to be careful though. He can hear my actions, and we'll see my flashlight. If I can attract Zero the pump to get him into the ballroom, then I'll fight him with that. In in it, that should be enough. Wait, this house has one of those. Actually, where am I? And how did I get here? Yeah, I, I get. Where are we? That's a good question. So now that I have the game, it broke again, didn't it? No, wait, hold on. I can't move my mouse. Hold on a minute. I was told about this. Yes, that is the problem. This game's a little bit borky, I, I think. This game has some borkiness. The first time I started, <laughs> I was at maximum mouse sensitivity, and then this time I started and I was at zero. Okay. Uh, let me... Okay, let me adjust. That feels... Oh, that is some weird movement. The mouse moves in, like, stuttery stints. That's really bizarre. Uh, I guess I want a bit more then. All right. That will do. That will do. Okay, this must be the ballroom then. Hopefully the volume is good. I think it probably is. It's going to probably get louder in a minute. So I can turn off my flashlight. Okay. And I'm looking for parts of a pump. Yeah, you can see it in the pause menu here. Alright. Oh. Lean keys. Okay. Okay. 
Given the sound of that door, I have a feeling the horror elements might be loud, so brace yourselves and let me know if it's too loud when the horrors occur, okay? Or it might just be right. Uh oh, what's this? This is a part? Pump plunger. Uh, wait. Oh, hello. I see. I think we got inflated. That's intriguing. All right, let's do that. <laughs> that is a mix of scary and, and, and it is kind of an unsettling model, let's be honest. Hide in wardrobe. Oh, I need to see that. I need to attract his attention. I want to see how he responds to me hiding in the wardrobe. You know, for you know, he's inflated, right? So he's like an inflated T-Rex black goo monster T-Rex thing. I don't know. He looks like he's made of latex or something. Um, but he's like thumping around though. Like if he was inflated with air, which seems to be the case, you wouldn't expect him to go thaw, 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 with every footstep, you know? Oh shoot, the doors actually have physics of each other. Wait, that actually raises a question. What happens if he goes through a doorway? How far can he see? Oh. Did he stop? Oh. Does the wardrobe immediately lose his attention? Hi. Oh god. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Might be a heavier gas. Oh, okay, let's see. What gases make you heavy? That you could technically, like, inflate yourself on without, like, giving yourself poisoning or something. What gas would be okay to inflate yourself on that is also very heavy? Having some trouble with the door. Yeah, I, I need to... I obviously want to play around with his AI some. It seems like the moment you hide in a wardrobe, he forgets where you're at. Gaseous water? Wouldn't that easily condense back into water, though? The one that makes your voice lower. Oh, wait, there's like a... There's a reverse to helium? Because I know helium makes your voice higher, obviously, but there's like a anti-helium? I didn't know this. I also need to see if he gets stuck in doorways or something. We gotta experiment with this guy. can't tell which door is open towards me and which one's open away. That I heard him crash. Like, feel, sound like he like plopped down and sat on his butt or something and just struck the whole house. Hexafluoride. Perhaps that's what he's using then. Oh. That <laughs> two parts on top of each other? Don't mind if I do. Do you think he opens doors too, or do you think he's too smart? He's not smart enough to do that. Because it just occurred to me I might miss something if he's opened a random door, and then I'll just not check that door because it was open. It 
This house design. Wait, do the doors close after a while? Doesn't seem like it. Feels like I've gone here before, but the doors are all closed. No, that door's open. Guess I haven't been here. The layout confuses me a little. It's a little unnerving I haven't run into him, actually. I'm kind of getting a where the hell is he kind of vibe. Oh, that's the last part. I built it. I built the pump. I think I need to go to the ballroom now. Or something. But I also have the pup ready. How did I use it? Okay. Don't think it's enough to make you thump around, though. Maybe if you use a whole ton. I'm in the ballroom. I think this is where I'm supposed to, like, fight him or something. I need I need him around, though. Okay, he's, he's kind of lazy, isn't he? <laughs> Let's see if we can find him. Oh, hi. That works. How, how, do, how do I do this exactly? Uh, he's so fat. Oh. The tail. I like the tail. Does he free himself from this eventually, or...? Oh. Oh, I guess if you don't do it fast enough or something. Him not having teeth creeps me out. That's a weird thing to be creeped out about. Obviously, I should have just kept inflating him, but I'm here to... I'm not here necessarily... Played by the Pound is half about beating games. It's also half about exploring them. We want to know what a game has inside of it. Not just winning it, but also seeing if there's any particular fail states that are interesting. Or the like. Convenient. Convenient. I appreciate the parts glow, it makes it a lot easier to, like, find them all. I am kind of curious if he fits through doorways or if he needs a second. I'm not really sure yet. He seems pretty easy to evade, though. Relatively. I mean, I guess it makes sense. He's, he's a heckin' chunker.
But I do think he could surprise me. He makes noise sometimes, but not all the time. Oh, they do sometimes close. Wait. Wait! I was just in this room! Wait a minute. The actual fuck? That, that room changed, didn't it? Something weird, something spatially weird just happened, I think. Can't say for sure, though. But it sure felt like something distorted on me there. Here comes the boy. Oh shit. <laughs> I, uh, you can't hide in wardrobe if he's facing you, I think. Turns out. Oh well. I was just gonna be cheeky and high at the last second, but it didn't work. <laughs> So I'm supposed to inflate him in the ballroom. I wonder what happens if I try to inflate him elsewhere. I wonder if it just doesn't work or... Competing the game unlocks a mode where you can inflate zero without the risk of the main mode. Oh, that's kind of nice of them. Well, that's good to know. Um, I will check that out shortly. Oh. Oh, he does fit through doors just fine. <laughs> You're wondering. Wait, did, did he lose me already? What happens if I shut the door in his face? Does he just open it? <laughs> or does he face through it like some <laughs> like some horror games do? <laughs> can he close the door? I imagine he probably can, but I'm not really sure. He got me through the wall! <laughs> the advantages of having a large, fat hitbox, I suppose. I saw him clip through the wall, and then I got got. I'm ready for the next session of Poker Roll Episode 104. That should be tomorrow. Uh, unless it's not. Uh, Karsris is just coming back from his vacation. It's entirely possible he'll be jet-lagged. So, if he is, we're not doing the session. It's really up to him. He's literally traveling back tomorrow, so that's also poker roll day. I don't know, if I was him, if I was traveling back on a day, I wouldn't want to then have to do, uh, like, a DM game after that. Like, right after I got home, like, no. Wait, are you playing 1.2 or 1.3? I don't know. One point two, apparently. Is this an? I, I had no idea this even got an update. New items, a lockable inflation mode, updated graphics, other updates and fixes. Really? It got a fucking update. That was a long time after the initial release. All right. That was unexpected. Thanks for letting me know. Here, let's try to beat this mode, and then I'll switch to 1.3. I'm, I'm, I'm literally I'm multitasking. I'm downloading it right now. It had an update? Well, I guess it's in a way good I didn't play it earlier last year, because I would have not seen that update. I have to admit, I thought that was just a one and done, where the, I didn't expect the game to get further updates. That's really interesting. 
Okay, well, well, I'll, uh, let's win. And then I'll check out the update. Ah, whatever. And then we'll win the update to see what's changed. Apparently a lot has changed in the updated version. So that's intriguing. But at this point, I may as well compare versions then. <laughs> if they're effectively different games. How quickly the Rex can see if you keep the light. Oh. Heckin' Chonker Butt ahead. Alert. Chonker Butt ahead. Chonker Butt discovered. Damn, he thick. Alright. He, he seems to be blocking. <laughs> Actually, I think he's blocking the only way out. I can't see in the dark. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Got him moving. Yeah. Door closed. Oh god, he faces through doors! I was right. He doesn't open them. He faces through them. <sighs> Fucking called it. Well, since he sees me anyways, I'll just leave the light on. Is he faster than me or equal speed? I can't tell. I presume that's why you don't fight him for a while, because he gets stuck on something? That would make sense. I mean, I broke him out of it by using my flashlight, which got his attention, but... Yeah, you might be right. That he might just get randomly stuck on objects. So apparently the 1.3 version is a like a more updated version though, so we'll check that out shortly. Let me just get all the pump parts and I don't I honestly he's not that hard to avoid. And again, thank you very much for telling me there was an updated version. I had no idea. So thank you for that, uh, Lunar, for telling me. Or cluing me in there was even another version, basically. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Ah, I need to go this way, actually. Or... This way? Missing two parts. Where might they be? Aha. No? Oh. Oop. There we go. That's one more. Oh god, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shit. Well, at least I got around him. <laughs> He's like right behind me, though. No! 
Damn it, door! <laughs> the random door that opens in my face rather than opens outward. <laughs> Actually, I guess all doors probably open into furniture rooms, not out of them. God damn it. He is deceptively difficult. He's not hard to avoid. But if he's chasing you, he is a little bit bullshit. I guess that's how I'd put it. Yeah, I think doors always open into rooms. You see that? Into rooms, so. So if I'm in a hallway, the door's gonna open away from me. If I'm not, it's gonna open towards me. Doors opening towards me, I basically can do nothing about. Like, that kind of just screws me over at that point. If I'm being chased, I mean. Because you can't, he's, he is not super fast, but he's not so slow as to be unjukable. Oh, what? I got an, I accidentally, I went into a wardrobe through the door. That's interesting. Okay. I'm just going to beat the game. If I can. I think he just cornered me, actually. Oh, maybe not. Oh! I was wondering about that. So he can still get you on wardrobes. Well, that's that's a lesson learned. I hadn't, I did not leave the wardrobe, I'd like to note. But he noticed, I guess the wardrobes kind of work and kind of don't. You can't necessarily rely on them. Also, I'm pretty... Has anybody been able to tell if the layout changes? I think the layout is different each time. If and I could... I think so. I th my instincts are telling me this, this is constantly changing. For proper cyber safety, all doors should open out of rooms. That way you can exit the building faster. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's why it feels weird and that's why I keep hitting myself with doors. Because I, like, instinctively know it shouldn't be opening that way. Perhaps. Yeah, it's the rooms that we need to look at for items, obviously. The hallways don't have anything, so... The, honestly, the only way I'm able to navigate is by following the rule of always turning. Uh, like, I kind of gotten used to the layout at this point. It's... it's Just making always doing left-hand turns or etc. Oh, this is a very... This is a dangerous layout right here. No, no, it does change, because I can tell you for a fact that a long hallway leading to a dead-end room is a new room setup. I haven't seen that before. That's exceptionally dangerous. If, if the dinosaur got... If the dino got me in that situation, I'd be just... I'd be screwed at that point. Like, no... No no contest. I would just be... I would just be screwed. Only the part locations are random. Oh, are they? Is that the only thing that's actually random? Hmm. I could have sworn some of these layouts are unique each time I go through, though. Are you sure? Huh, that door was open. I don't remember opening that door. I feel like if I had opened that door, I would have seen that part. Then again, I do sometimes just randomly open a door, I suppose. <laughs> Oof.
So, uh, Lunar, can you inflate the dinosaur in the hallways, or does it have to be the ballroom? Okay. I suppose it's good to open all the doors in a room. Oh. Three of five, okay. You can crouch sprint. I always find it funny when games let you do that. Where'd he go? I don't know, but I need to go this way too. Only the ballroom version one too. Okay, so we'll just do the ballroom ending here. I'm gonna go back. So, I think he can open doors. Okay, there we go. I think the Rexy boy can open doors. But sometimes he... I think he phases through them as he opens them. I think that's what was going on earlier. Okay. This time I will not lose. And then we'll switch to 1.3, because apparently there's more to this than I thought. I'm really glad you came to the stream today, Luder. I would have never known this. Hi. Get your fat ass over here. I like the tail thing, though. That's pretty funny. I think I see why I need the ballroom. Well, he's put through the ceiling now. He survived! <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> wow. I feel like he's a heck of chalker and then I inflate. It feels like he's not inflated at the beginning because he's stomping around stuff. Press escape or start to restart. Well, no need for that because apparently. Just a moment. So there's a new version of this that I didn't know about. Let me uh, extract this guy. So that's not the only... So now let's play the version that has... Uh, let's see, what did it say? New items, unlockable inflation mode, updated graphics, other updates and fixes. So like, complete re-overhaul, apparently. Let's check out the 1.3 version now. Did the dino survive, though? I mean, we inflated him. I don't think it, that, that hurt him or anything. Probably. Maybe. It remembers more. Okay, so now I'm playing the one point. Let me double check. Am I playing the right version? 1.3, yeah. Okay, so this is the updated version. It doesn't look that different on the tile screen. I thought it might look a little different on the tile screen, but. Oh, though it does look a, a little different in the environment, so. I think I kept my settings, so let's just. Start. Okay, save description. Okay, so what's this version like? All right. Oh, oh, it's darker. It's a bit darker. Oh, the ballroom is super dark. All right. Our footsteps are different. We sound barefoot now, which I guess is fair because I think the main, I think the character in that. What's this.
I love it. <laughs> Look, interact. Scroll inventory. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was like stuck on the table and super finicky. What the hell? <laughs> well, this update already shows a hallmark of quality. Now the items can phase into the table, making them hard to grab. Oh. Oh! Okay, that's actually kind of clever to put um, random inflation artwork. Yeah, this is an old piece of... I don't remember who did this, but I remember this artwork. It's a good one. Oh. Oh. Ah, we have the classic uh, inflation monster thing where they just like... Give you a big ol' smooch and then you inflate. <laughs> so there's an updated graphics there too. Instead of just fading, it actually does an animation. Nice little little jump scare. By the way, when my light's off, oh my god, I can't see at all. This is true darkness. I can see a few prims, but that's it. That's about it. So in other words, they heavily uh Debuff your your sight with the light off, as in you don't have it. So now the aspect that's actually that's actually pretty smart because remember he gets attracted by your flashlight. But you could also kind of just see in the dark, and it didn't really matter in the previous version. But now I kind of need that flashlight. What's that? Air tank, just an air tank. Okay. Wonder what it does. I mean, I'm sure it does air tank things, but I mean, I could throw it. Maybe it's a weapon. What do we got here? Ah! <laughs> Seems like oh, is this like a self-inflation competition or something? I like the little kobold dude over here, like assessing the situation. Pretty good. The, the the ideal body the the ideal body proportions, <laughs> right there. Orb and legs. <laughs> Stall a stun of sorts. I thought so. What's this? Oh, lock. I can door lock. I wonder if this causes unique animations. I'm gonna have to investigate. Oh, there's a lot of doors in this particular room. I'm gonna have to see if uh, that causes some unique animations, so. Next time we see him, I'll throw a, I'll throw the air tank at him, I guess. I have two now. So door locks and air pumps, all right. I can't just keep the items equipped though because the open door key is the same as the use item key, so I need to be like, I need to switch to it when I need them. So I gotta be a little efficient about that, I guess. <laughs> Never mind the fact he's inflated. He already looks like a latex balloon. That shine, that sheen.
Though, that is kind of an inexplicable thing that happens. Random creature inflates. It becomes like, it has like a rubbery sheen. That just comes with the territory of getting inflated. You're, you're a furry cheetah character? Sorry, you, you're now a shiny rubbery cheetah because you got inflated. Towel works, man. I don't make the rules. Nice. <laughs> this looks like it might be like liquid inflation or something. Also, just, I didn't know it was possible for a heavily inflated slash weight gained character to also be so fucking muscular, but at the same time. That's a weird mix. That is a weird mix. Super muscly above the waist or <laughs> Or above above the chest up and then bloom below the chest below the waist <laughs> at them below the waist. <laughs> well, balloons get shiny when inflated when when not they are matte when not they are matte. Oh, you mean matte as in matte m a t t e matte? Actually, you have a point. Umbrella, uh, yeah, umbrellas. What? Uh, balloons are indeed just kind of. I mean, they're they're rubbery regardless, but yeah, they're not really shiny until you inflate them. Oh, I wonder why that is exactly. Now, now that you mentioned it, I just realized that I don't entirely know why it gets shiny when you inflate a balloon. Hmm. But you make a good point. Uh oh, I think I got sot. Sol? Sot? Scene. Scene, that's the word. Many parts, one more. Like, but only briefly, because they didn't actually chase me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I bet having the flashlight on while you're in the ward... Uh, that's how it got caught. That one time he got me in the wardrobe, I just realized, I think I have my flashlight on. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did... It stretches, exactly. But like... Oh. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, guy on cell phone having McDonald's and drinking a, a soda. Yeah, I don't know. They just got really overcast all of a sudden over here. <laughs> Very good. He ended up on the dark side of the moon, I suppose. What have we got here? Oh, I can't. It's kind of hard to see. If I shine the light directly on it, it's harder to look at. Blimp creature. That's all I have to say. I can't really make out its details. Oh, I think I found the head. All right. I'm fond of uh, fat for inflation stuff to some extent, but like, if it gets... There we go, last part. I feel like if it gets um, too big, I start losing a bit of interest. I think it's funny to look at. I think it's like, haha, that's that's amusing. But I do like, I do like, there's like a, ba there's a sweet spot for me a lot of times where if something gets too big, it loses its body proportions and becomes less interesting. It, uh, I don't necessarily dislike blobby furs, so to speak. But yeah, they can become less interesting if they get too big, I think. Or like you can't make them out as a creature anymore, you know? Yeah, when it becomes incomprehensible, there is... It's still fun in a way. I, I I will say like it is kind of fun to see that incomprehensible greed. What is going on here? Okay, all the other ones I understood, but what am I looking at? What what is this? <laughs> Speaking of incomprehensible, if this is a creature, maybe that's a creature. I I don't know. Seems to be like a little. This is like a hose. Oh, yeah. So here's a good example of incomprehensible. This thing in the sky is a creature. There's a little hose there, and it's connected to the ocean. I'm guessing this is water inflation. And somebody's pressing the button, I think. Incomprehensible, like I said. <laughs> yeah, just a belly shot, more or less. Incomprehensibility is still interesting, but I think I prefer body proportions. I do appreciate the concept of incomprehensible greed, though. As a concept, it's a lot of fun. The idea that a creature is so insatiable that they become just, you know, literally larger than larger than the Earth, more or less. After room size, it starts to get too big for me. I'd say about the same. I think that's my... F like, I... I I might... I actually, after... If you guys remind me after I'm done here, I can show you guys my preferences. 
uh, with with a series of I have a waking series that actually shows my preferences and like kind of like when it goes too far. Well, like not oh there he is, sir. How do I use this? Apparently, I use the door lock. I can't open it now. I mean, I guess I should have seen that coming, but... Use your items. I did, but... <laughs> I think I messed that up a bit. Um, explains why he wasn't chasing for a while. Can I even... There was another... Seems like a good way of getting yourself killed. Yeah, kinda. Can you lock all sides? Well, is there even a door behind them, or is he in a dead-end room? Also, no, I cannot open the door now. It's just... I have I have closed that door off. It is now a non-accessible a, a non door. He's like right in that room, but also let's appreciate this dragon doing absorbing the soul energy of the earth. This is the life is that the life stream? Sir? Oh of course, now you move. Wait, what? Oh. You got bigger. I must find more for him. I mean, yes, I have also have the air pump, but one thing at a time. Does that is that permanent? Do you think it like permanently makes him bigger? Makes him easier to hear. He is indeed bigger. Gotta make sure I don't dead end myself here. Oh no, I did. So apparently you could use the air pump. Okay, did he get big? I don't know. Was was he still getting bigger? We can't inflate outside ballroom now. Yeah, I mean I was. Okay. So like I'm I'm assu I assume that if I go to the ballroom I get that same event, right? But if I if I am in the hallway I might get a different event. So I think what I need to do is get the pump and then. Find a loop de loop where I can just avoid him and then just keep taking that loop while inflating him. Hello, don't mind me. Oh, oh god. I wonder if this is gonna end by locking them in a room. I feel like that would just soft lock, but. He did mind you. He minded me quite a bit, didn't he? At least that was a very quick failure. Okay, so I guess I have an objective, and that is to find a good place to, like... But I definitely should throw the air tanks at him, because he seems, like, permanently slower when he has one of these air tanks. Let's say on the side of it. Tygasel? Hmm. Also, he becomes noisy, so it's easier to not actually run into him. But I do have to be mindful because there are absolutely places of this that just dead end and then I get trapped.
I could try locking them in a room, but yeah, the locks and soft lock. I had a feeling they seemed like very soft lockable things. I really feel like the painting locations are different though. Are we sure this random this matchup does not randomize? Because it sure feels like it does. <coughs> Uh oh. Uh. All right, never mind. You don't need. I guess you don't have to have that air tank. Goodbye. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, I guess he prioritizes you over the air tank. <laughs> I threw that to him because I thought he'd just take it, but uh. Well. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I didn't expect this game to absorb this much time, but actually it's kind of fun, so I don't really... I hope you guys are having fun! <laughs> I don't mind an extended play session where a heckin' chonk Rex chases me around. That's fine by me, I don't... I have no complaints. Yeah, see, these were not... These were not in the same place. These photos were not in the same place before, these images. They were not in the same room before. This is randomized. This mansion is absolutely randomized. As somebody who is constantly taking left-hand turns, let me just tell you, this place is randomized. It's late. Last time I did it. Maybe it didn't in the- yeah, actually, I, I believe you. I believe you when you say it didn't in the first version. That does seem like something you would add to a later version, huh? So I think that's maybe what happened here. It is late. This will be the last game of tonight. For certain at this point, since it's taken a little bit. It's late into the night. Tonight, it's dangerous. Honestly, the playing a horror, playing a scary horror game late at night is, is pretty appropriate. I think we need more uh, playing by the pound uh, horror games. It's a good concept. I feel like you can do a lot with that. Because, it, by its nature, uh, things like vor and fat and inflation are naturally horrific. I mean, like, as a concept. Not necessarily horrific to some people, obviously, but... Vor has already been used in horror a fair bit because it is, indeed, scary to consider being eaten by something. Uh, as for fats and inflation, that is uh, powerlessness, getting... Getting put into a state... I knew it. This door had not been opened by me. Getting put into a state which makes you helpless, you know? That, that could be horrific. Or just modifying your body, changing your body in some way. Which, that's, you know, that's basically body horror. And if you don't... If you aren't aware, body horror is basically, you know... Where your body gets changed forcibly against your will in some way, so... All good concepts for horror. It, and it's basically played by the pound meshes well with horror. It's five early or late. Five a.m. Oh yeah, you probably mean that. You're using the silly twenty-four hour time schedule, aren't you? <laughs> Honestly, though, twenty-four hour time is very accurate. I shouldn't diss on it too much, <laughs> but I like making fun of things. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 Oh, I thought I actually got away there. I do think his AI is a little bit better in this game, actually. <laughs> in this updated version. Should he use the tank? Well, once he's found you, it... I don't think he cares at that point. By the time I knew where he was, he kind of knew where I was, so... kind of, I kind of was at a loss there. Man, I was fighting a lot of tanks on that run, too. But it really slowed him down. Throw them at him. I mean, yeah, I, does that cause him to get stunned, or does he... Just drop in front of you as you run. I mean, that, that might work. I can see the logic there.
Yeah, I can guarantee you that the match layout is changing, at least in this version. Because, like, that was a weirdly long hallway that wasn't there before. Air trap is a trap. They s well, honestly, I thought he went out of his way to pick it up, though. Felt less like a trap and more like saying like a bait. Honestly, I was okay to play a few more rounds because I wanted to make sure we saw all the paintings too. I think we have though. At least at this point. Run drop lights off. Yeah, okay, I'll do that in the future. I'm not a very strategic puppo, I'm sorry. Oh. Well, I like this. What is this? A waiting room? Of all these chairs and tables? But then you go through this doorway into this dead end area and there's more chairs. This is the waiting room for people in timeout. They gotta sit in the timeout waiting room. Wait, I think I did a loop. Therapy. Okay, that sounds a little nicer than what I was thinking. <laughs> Honestly, my, my, my way of conquering mazes is just to kind of focus on a particular turning order. In my case, left turns. Though I can deviate from that if I feel like I should. That explains where everything is. It's all clumped together, maybe. I did not open that door, so I think the Rex did. Oh. <gasps> he found an air pup on his own and already used it. Okay. <laughs> He's already bigger then. Because, yeah, that, that air pup, I can't pick it up because it's already been used. Oh. The art that inspired this situation. There's two versions of this. One where he's completely dark latex, or black latex, and then this version here. What's your preference? Color or latex? How meta, by the way. There, okay, there's a take. Oh no, it is a painting depicting exactly the experience I am going through right now. How about that? You need to make a game that has a maze of no dead ends just to fuck your system. I dare you to. If you make a freaking playing by the pound fat for something or other game, I'll play it. So, you, you guys, everybody has to be aware that if a playing by the pound eligible game, that is, say, Vor, Fat for Inflation game that is safe for work, exists, I will basically be playing it at some point. So, if you guys want to see me suffer or something, make or find playing by the pound eligible games, and I'll basically be forced to play them. Yeah, find, find eligible games that are bullshit or something in some way, and, and I will have to play it. That's them's the rules. Oh, multiple floors destroys me. If you're if you're going up and down floors in a maze, like uh, what I do works perfectly fine for a one layer maze. But if the maze is stacked on top of each other and you go up and down. That I'm fucked at that point. Like that that that's I've I've seen that in games. I that destroys me. That destroys every sense of navigation I try to use. So that is uh, indeed how you thwart me, to put it simply. Honestly, though, I'll happily encourage people to make playing by the pound games just to screw me. Because even if it's just to screw me, hey, they made another playing by the pound game. It's very win win at that point. I'm happy to play these games. They do well, you know, metric wise and everything, too. So. You want to screw me over in a game? That's fine. Go right ahead. As long as I. As long as it's entertaining. Ah, here we go. So, I'm going to assume that the Rexy got stuck on something again, because I haven't seen him in a while. 
up I hear him though. Cool. Well, he gets distracted by that. Well, I gotta say, him having air... Yeah, so, actually, interesting. You notice how he doesn't make a dang sound until I inflate him the first time? Like, as, after, he eats, after he consumes one air tank, then he starts making the rubbery noises. So, yeah, he's just fat. Before that point, he's just, he's just a fatto. He's not actually uh, inflated until he actually ha consumes an air tank. Alright, I now okay, so now that he's ready and I'm ready and I'm gonna try to inflate him in the hallway. It's gonna be tricky though, because I gotta be careful to I gotta get close to him to inflate him, but I gotta stay away from him to not get got. So let's find a nice let's find a path through the hallway that I can do a loop without getting stuck at a dead end. Do right hand turn do repeated right hand turns get me stuck in a loop? Escaping the ballroom. I think the proper term is big fatty fat fat. Big fatty fat 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 butt is is the full term for it though. Yep, that works. Okay, I have an effective loop. I just need to not get caught by him. He he, he is a little bit bullsh. Oh, what? I guess we're playing him here. All right. Well, it's not the ballroom. Let's see what happens. Shiny. Oh, what? Oh, if you misclick... Oh, okay. Okay, so miss... Oh. I skipped a cool sound effect. I apologize. Apparently, if you game over in that situation, you get... Something unusual happens. Uh... Well, what did you expect? Well, he was immobilized. It worked at 1.2. I could touch him all I wanted when I was in the process of super inflating him. Ah, shoot. Also, it sounds like game over in there, it makes an interesting sound occur, and I skipped through it. It sounded like a, in, it sounded like a balloon roaring, <laughs> to put it very simply. Got squished under. I, I might have to lose again in that situation, though. That was interesting. As long as I can flay one of these, I think I will always win, though. Or, well, get to the point where I can win and then fuck it up because I'm fucking around. Hey, it's me. I do this. <laughs> this. This is how I play game. Hello. <laughs> Oh, multiple of that picture. Hmm. Alright, alright. I'll just stay away and inflate him properly. Hmm. I'm trying to examine all possibilities so I can make sure that I have discovered all the fun little things that you can do with him. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, I locked the door. Fuck. That's fine. This means I have to go around. Oh god, he's still a bit fast because I have only inflated him once. He needs two inflations to be truly slowed down, I think. That's fine. Oh, shoot. Dead end. That's the door I locked. You can tell because it has a little shiny thing on the door. Oh, 
Honestly, Hill, the fact that he, he properly leaves doors open now kind of does confuse me. It's messing up my system for looking through doors. Oh, wait, I went down the dead end path again. <laughs> derp, 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 derp. Now, the left hand turn system works well for standard mazes, but any maze that has a little bit of a trick to it, and it just falls apart. Or, any, indeed, as Yam had said, any uh, mazes that double back on themselves a lot, that also just kind of makes me mess up. Okay. So apparently if we do win, we enter some sort of mode where you don't, um... He opened that on his own. We do find- we do have some mode that unlocks that makes it easier to mess around and inflate him and stuff, apparently, so... Perhaps I should just win and get to that. So let's go for a hallway inflation. I will not shenanigan this time. Promise, cross my heart, hope to die. I don't know. That's just a weird statement. Cross my heart, hope to die. That's a statement, though. That is a thing that people used to say. It's kind of an antiquated statement, isn't it? At least these days. The statement basically means I'm telling the truth, and if I'm not, I better die because I was lying. And I guess that's supposed to be a, you know, now I think about it, it's a really weird statement. Like, I promise to tell the truth, and I, I, I'm cursing myself with instant death spell if, if, I'm, if I had turned out to be lying. It's like, okay. A little extreme, but all right. So I think one consistent thing about this game, uh, about the layout of the environment, is that the ballroom, you could always circle around the ballroom area, I think. I'm getting unnerved by all the open doors. around here. Just don't know where. Yep. Okay. He's right over there. I don't know how to loop around them, though. <laughs> actually, I don't think it's actually... No, he's at the dead end. He's at that little dead end nook, actually. I know where he's at. <laughs> Just smash the wall. Look, do I look like the Kool-Aid man? Okay, but admittedly, I might be about as round as one with my, with my image down there, but... Yeah, he went into that little dead end path that He took the bait. All right. Now I got to make sure I don't dead end myself while trying to do this next part. I think this is the ballroom, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, now let's let's st strategically pumpitude him. Uh, 
did he go the other direction again? Come on, dude. Buddy. Buddy. Look at your fat butt. Oh god. No, 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 no. I, I took a wrong turn. Uh, this is why I didn't want to fight him in that area, because it's all twisty and turning and weird. Okay, I'm good now, I think. It's so easy to mess up, actually. Yeah. Okay. He's just nestling himself in a dead end, and I don't appreciate that. Hi, come here. Thank you for following Oreo the Panther. It's a cute name. Gotta keep checking where I'm going so I don't just blunder into a dead end. Oh lordy coming. Basically I just want to do this down straight shots it's safer that way. How much more of this do I need to do to actually inflate them, though? Okay, how did I stun him that one time, but I'm not getting a stun right now? What did I do that one time? You know, the one time where he completely inflated... Proximity is a very dangerous thing, though. <laughs> I can't risk getting any closer than that. <laughs> Holding the button doesn't cause the animation to continue any longer than it already is. See how that blue ring stops? That's with me holding down the button past when it stops. Oh, there. It arbitrarily allowed me to do it this time. Good. I want to see a butt angle, thank you. I appreciate that his feet don't inflate, so his feet just get buried and buried and buried and buried. I don't know what triggers it. It just when it feels like it, it triggers. If you hit red, you you lose. By the way, I think. Okay, well, he's definitely not in the hallway anymore. Maybe multiple hallways. That might be appropriate to say. I'm gonna get crushed to get this right. Oh, I am getting crushed. I'm inside his fucking thigh now. What has taken me? How long do I have to do this? Oh, that long. Okay, so... Oh my god! Right then. I don't think you're supposed to inflate him outside the balcony room. But, uh, there. Got him. 
<laughs> Let me walk around a bit to see if I can get see more. Of, oh, there's some of him there. He is uh, spread around the mount mansion a little bit. A little bit. There's some there. <laughs> he is integrated into the mansion at this point, basically. That was not supposed to happen. Was there supposed to be something else that was supposed to... I'm in his tell right now, by the way. Was there supposed to be something else that was supposed to happen when, uh... When inflating him in the hallway, did something break? Or uh, what happened exactly? What was supposed to happen in that situation? So we just have inflate zero all bursting? Uh, sure, why not? Hi. Yeah, it's true. He doesn't have any teeth. That is a bit odd. He probably should think he probably should count himself lucky that he doesn't have teeth though, because if he had teeth, then as soon as he inflated enough, he'd just like freaking pop himself. <laughs> oh, I see a seam issue right there. Oh, at certain inflation states, the the seam between his body portions breaks. Very good, though. Maybe we were close enough to the ballroom when he expanded he got into the ballroom area. That's true. You weren't supposed to be able to- So wait, what was I supposed to- be? Oh, his feet left the ground. That's cute. Now we can properly appreciate the girth. Actually, I think the inflation's a bit different in the 1.3 version. I prefer, I prefer the shape he's forming in this version. The foot is being lost. So, Lunar, question, important question. Was I supposed to be able to do something? Was I supposed to be able to do a different hallway inflation or what? Can, can you make that clear? So he still comes through the cell and even the ballroom. To be fair, there is a there is a belt there is like a skylight, so maybe he broke through it. Man, that's some interesting I found his foot, guys. It's still here. And then everybody died. <laughs> Cause that would Again? Sure, but let's like not do popping. Just to see how it ends when yeah. Okay, that's weird. Being able to see his eyes through his ass. That's interesting. <laughs> that's an interesting situation that Throw the air tanks on him, okay. I'm waiting for Lunar- Lunar! Lunar! Can you please respond to my question? I- I- I'm actually curious. It's an important question. He's watching you even from behind! I love his little eyes. <laughs> Oh, I can speed up by tapping. Done. <laughs> no, it'd probably be difficult to achieve, but having the hands and feet blow up after a certain size would be a nice touch to show the pressure. Oh, actually, they probably could have done that. Just have certain limbs only inflate after enough inflations occurred to other limbs. Yeah, I see your point. So I guess this is max size. All right. So Lunar is not an so annoying. Lunar, I appreciate your advice and your information, but I really wish you could answer that one question for me because it's a key question. If if you don't know what I'm talking about, Lunar said that wasn't supposed to happen with the hallway inflation. 
But earlier, Lunar also said that, yes, hallway inflation is possible in the 1.3 version, but it isn't in the 1.2 version. But then when we just did the hallway inflation, he said, that's not supposed to happen. You weren't supposed to be able to do that. So I think what Lunar is saying is that in the 1.3 version, you do get a hallway inflation scene. However, we did not just, we just didn't see it. We, we basically got the ballroom inflation scene. It glitched. So we don't... I think there is a hallway inflation scene that we have yet to see still. Now, I could be wrong here, but the person who can confirm or deny this, I, this hunch is Lunar. And unfortunately, uh, it seems like he's gone quiet at exactly the moment where I need him to answer a question. So I will just discover this on my own and see if I'm right. Uh, this time we'll do it far away from the ballroom, I guess. I suppose. Um, good night, Hyper. This actually happens a lot where I'm playing a game. And I don't know everything about the game. But fortunately, some chat member does know something about the game. And then they start giving me some tips and stuff. And it's really helpful. But... Then I run into a situation with the game where I'm like, oh boy, I really need a tip right now. Like, oh, this is a... Okay, well, this moment here, like, this is interesting. I, I definitely need a tip right now. And so then I ask the person who was giving me tips. I'm like, hey, person who was giving me tips, I really need a tip now. And that's the exact moment that they're just not talking anymore. It always happens this way. Where I, I, I play a game and I don't know something, but then... Oh, a person comes by, and they know things, and then they tell me. And it's like, great, I have somebody giving me advice. And then, and then, oh boy, I need advice right now. Nope. It always happens this way. I don't know why. It's like clockwork. I know, like, it, it's guaranteed. If I'm getting advice on a video game, then guaranteed, the moment where I most need that advice, like, it would save the most time or just be really integral to like, figuring something out. That is the moment the advice stops. <laughs> it's so sad, and it's a curse. I, I experience this every single time, I swear. <laughs> Shame on them for having lives. That's not what I'm saying, Chris Oz. I'm just saying I'm cursed, where the exact moment where I need the biggest tip <laughs> is the moment where they just, oh, they're gone now all of a sudden. Wow. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> like, yeah, no, no, it's fine. If they have, if they're, you know, if they win AFK and they need to step away, that's fine. I understand. But how dare they do it at the exact moment when they are needed the most? It's like that one comic phrase. It w and when the people needed him the most, he'd vanished. Or something. I, it was from a comic. I don't remember. Oh, wait. No, that was Avatar, actually. <laughs> I'm just like quoting Avatar now I think about it. I have had to guess trying to flay them in the hole will stop midway leaving the temporary stack. I'm going to guess so, too, but basically, um, the anxiety comes in this. I don't know if I'm wasting our time right now. Like, this run here may be a waste of time, but I don't know. And the person who does know isn't, isn't answering. Sadness. Sadness of this timing. So, unfortunately, because of our, our our advice giver has a, has left, so I will have to figure this out on my own. I apologize if this is a waste of time. Uh, but, oh well. So the door lock just seems like a bad item, by the way, because it just, like... It gets... You possibly soft locked. That's basically the main thing I know it could do. Horror and puffy stuff is such a good combo, but I have no idea how to explain why. I kind of agree with you, Sky. Hold on a second. It all changed with the Fire Nation attacked. Actually, yeah, Lunar is just gone, actually. I just checked in the chat, like, I wonder if he's still here, even. Nope. Dang you, Lunar. Lunar, I'm not inviting you to my birthday party if you're going to do this to me. Alright, let's see.
You don't get birthday cake, all right? That's 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 your punishment. Yeah, imagine he'll watch this in post or something, so he'll know then. <laughs> no, honestly, though, I do appreciate Lunar's help. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have known to even download this 1.3 version. I wouldn't have even known it existed, so he definitely already did me a solid. It's just that now I have to. Oh, that was bad timing. Well, I just screwed myself. If you cannot circle around a room, he will get you. All right, so here's the thing, too. You know how I mentioned how surrounding the balcony room is a safe zone. Um. I can't, I can't inflate him in the in the in the loop area because the loop area is close to the balcony, which probably will trigger the glitch. Is what I'm thinking. I'm beginning to wonder though. Do you guys remember how much trouble I actually had, like even getting him to inflate in the hallway? I wonder if it's. I, I wonder if the that's not supposed to happen part. Which he never, uh, he never went into detail about what he meant by that. I wonder if that was more specifically that I wasn't supposed to be able to flight, flight finish him in the hallway. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that Lunar also said that that was added in 1.3. So I'm, I'm just really confused. I feel like we're missing something, but I'm also not sure if we're not. Hmm. Hello. I do not have an air tank to throw at you, or I would. Yeah, I'm gonna guess I was too close to the ballroom. Oh, come on! I juked him there, but I didn't juke him in the hallway? Alright, fine. Rude! Oh well. Sorry my mouse is so twitchy, by the way. I'm getting kind of tired, and that's then my hands my hands start getting a little... Uh, I guess the word is weak? A little shaky. Turn off lights around corners. Well, if I hear them stomping, I should probably just do that. Do that. Um... Hey, what do you think would happen if I started inflate him, but then I threw him an air pump? Would he, like, revert to eat the air pump? I wonder. Probably could glitch him out or something. Also, updated graphics. I guess updated graphics meant I hung a bunch of my artwork around his paintings. I mean, I guess that's updated graphics, to be fair. I was expecting, like, some high res pack or something. Or, well, I was also hoping that maybe he would... What was the name of the T-Rex? Zeril? I was kind of hoping Zeril would have a higher quality model. That'd be kind of nice. Like, he still looks good, don't get me wrong, but he does kind of have flat textures and all. Imagine if he had, like, more, you know, prims and stuff. You know, basically the model the model uh, quality was higher, more details, more smoother. And also, there was... Hmm, I didn't open these, did I? I did not. So this looks like the textures. Yeah, there's some stuff that's definitely changed. I just it's hard to figure out exactly what. But a few things have been updated. I think the floor, maybe. Besides the paintings, I mean, the paintings are the obvious addition, but. I don't say it's a fun game. It, just playing it again is, is fun. It's a, it's a fun enough game to loop. It's pretty simple, but It'd be nice to see this formula expanded into more things though. They really like this photo they really like this painting, so they, they had two in the same room. Because you can never have enough paws, right right, Beerus? They needed the they needed a quadruple paw themselves there. Maybe the same failure that happened when you stopped in 1.2. Mm. Maybe. 
Stopping does seem to confuse the game and then suddenly game over you, I notice. One for each eye. Because we have four eyes? <laughs> I appreciate the artwork, but I feel like he should have added more, so multiple playthroughs, just you constantly see more and more art. That'd be kind of nice. One for each eye painting. Ah, oh, I see. So you can get, you can get your uh, 3D glasses vision going with the paws. I bet Beerus would love that. 3D, like... <laughs> paws in stereoscopic view. Hooray! I feel like this game could use a little bit of ambience. But here's the weird thing. I downloaded this game a long time ago, and it was, like, up for, like, oh, jeez. The game had just been up available at, in, in the 1.2 version for, like, literally over a year. And then just randomly, I guess, the guy updated a 1.3 version. Well, there he is. I was like, what is that over there? It is him. He is there. No, 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 no. Oh, I think I've already screwed myself. Oh. Excuse me. You're right, I can just drop an air tank. He ignored the first one, so I figured that wouldn't work. Wonder if I could juke him in a big room like this. Okay. All right, I need to find a loop that's not near the ballroom. That might be tricky, but I think I could pull it off. Oh, that's a dead end. No siree, that wouldn't work. Do you think I could juke him around here with him slowed down? This room is really far away from the ballroom, so no ballroom glitching would happen. I can say that much. The way you picked it up, he looked pretty ex exited about it. You'd be excited, but yes. Not surprising. Okay, so I need him to get over here. Now this is a, this is really risky because I'm going to dead end myself to some degree here. Oh, he's 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 trying to fake me out. It's actually pretty easy to lose him now. So I'm, I'm faster than him. Yes, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, 
Yeah, let's, let's all down to this. He got way more aggressive holes than it. I don't know why. What the hell? Okay, if he randomly runs at me, I'm kind of screwed. So let's hope he does it. Oh, oh god, he did. I don't know. I really don't know. The only loop that seems to work is the one that surrounds the balcony. I don't think there's... Okay, no. It's entirely possible for this mansion to generate in such a way to form a second loop. But it's also completely down to luck of the draw. So, in other words, there could be another loop I could use to be safe, but... Uh, it's hard to, to determine. It's hard to, to it's 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 crossing our fingers and hoping that another part of the game decides to form a loop. Basically, if the rooms connect just right, you know. I'll go one more run. Considering you have beaten this game like four times, it feels like you should understand how to win. All right. I'm not sure if you're saying that the game is bad at communicating it's information or i'm not sure if you're saying i'm a fucking idiot you say one or the other i'm not sure which, i'm not sure which though i'll go to bed that's fair nano this is my last attempt the final fight just seems very very <laughs> yeah that statement could be read two ways <laughs> good night to you nano and i don't i don't think i disagree of either interpretation to be perfectly honest at this point Yeah, you're supposed to inflame in the ballroom. We all know that. Like, that's the normal win condition. But the whole reason we're exploring the whole hallway inflation thing is because, uh, well, again, Lunar actually did state earlier in a message. I don't remember the exact wording he used, but he basically said, um, oh, yeah, 1.3 adds hallway inflation. Though I wonder if he may have meant the air tanks, the extra ones that you can find. Because 1.3 added those. Maybe he was referring to those and not like a special ending. Because basically what we're trying to pursue is a special ending. I kind of figured like, oh, well, if you can you can inflame him in the ballroom, but maybe now you can also inflame him in the hallway. And if you inflame him in the hallway, he like stretches and squishes differently because he's in the hallway. I'm beginning to think, though, that maybe it just doesn't do that. Maybe Maybe that was not the interpretation I should have formed with this. I don't know. Regardless, it's kind of fun to run around and just get chased by the, the heck of chonker. So, one last go. Win or lose. Winner takes all. Which I guess means heck and chonker inflates me or not. Actually, it's kind of weird. He inflates me, but what is he using to inflate me? If he was like an inflatable, inflated creature himself, then I would understand it. So, if he's consumed an air tank and then he inflates me, that makes sense, but... Four of the parts were right there. Wait, were all the... How many parts did I have before I started picking that up? I just picked up all the parts. Right here. Huh. Alright. Hey, Ching Lee, you cut, cut the tail into this. They did mention the air tanks and locks separately. So, yeah, that's right now. So he was kind of talking about, oh, you can flame in the hallway. Also, there's now air tanks. So it was listed as a separate point. It, we wasn't referring to the air tanks with that point, at least not in the way he talked about it. See, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is I look... Uh, oh, um... There you go. One thing a lot of people... He, he like T-posed for a second. <laughs> One thing a lot of people don't take seriously is that I actually do listen to people. Oh, I found a loop, by the way. Oh no, why are you so fast? Oh, because I only inflated you once. Shit. Okay, I guess I lost. 
Lunar better fucking tell us later. He better freaking come back and say like, Oh yeah, this is what I meant. Yeah, no, seriously, I li Okay, one more go. One- No, I probably should stop. I'm thinking, given how difficult it is to in inflate him- Well, then again, it was difficult in the ballroom, too. In the ballroom, when I was trying to inflate him, sometimes it wouldn't take either, and I had to do it a few times before it cared. <sighs> See, I wouldn't be having this OCD if Lunar was just around to answer the question. It's just- ah! He didn't even say goodbye, by the way. He just kind of left. <laughs> Not that you have to say goodbye or anything if you leave the stream, but... I mean, I thought we were having a conversation, but I guess not. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Curmudgeon old man about this, I guess. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna do one more run. One more. That, that one made me sad. Clauses don't work on the inflatable scale is high Well, here's- yeah, I couldn't even get in it, actually. It wouldn't let me interact with it, which really confused me. If you're wondering what happened there, I was, like, facing it doing nothing for a while because... It wouldn't let me in. So... I saw that sheen. Had to put away the pump. Oh, that's right. No, yeah, I can't interact with anything if I'm holding a pump. So that is accurate. The hell is this ominous shit? <laughs> like, look at this lighting from a distance. Mildly unsettling, actually. When randomization makes something creepier. Also, I'm following the path of Mr. Dinosaur. Where did he go? Not this way. This is legitimately my last attempt, guys. Thanks for sticking around for so long. Admittedly, it is kind of fun. I don't know why it's fun, but it is just kind of fun walking around and getting... Looking at the chonker. I am a simple dog. I see Chonker chase walking around stalking me. I'm like, I could do this for a while. Actually, today was very dinosaur heavy if you think about it. Hopful's Hopful's games featured a lot of dinosaurs too. Today has been a dinosaur playing by the pound. Oh shit. <laughs> I shall now evade you. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just lose again. Uh, it is pretty easy to lose, unfortunately, sometimes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't. Shit, 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 shit. Ah! Uh! Turn my direction. I'm so fucked. Or not. That's how you're supposed to evade him, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I have the pump again. Make it or break it. I guess this is the make it or break it moment. I'm gonna go see if I can find a third air pump though, just slow him down a little bit more. Sometimes three have spawned, so... Let's go take a look. Whew! Personally, I don't get these types of games. You feel as you play when you play them all. Well, I feel like the twist here is that it's heck and chonker mode. I, uh, these, these, hor listen, if this was a normal horror game, I wouldn't find it nearly as interesting. I'm completely aware of that. It is the aesthetic that draws me in. Not the gameplay. The gameplay works, though, for the aesthetic, so. I 
I feel like you could do more with this concept, though. I'm not sure what. Just more. I think there's one more wing of rooms. I can get that, but all the others that just slid through new setting. Yeah, that's true. The others, I, 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 you know why? I, you know, actually, I could tell you why I'm kind of more chill about this than I think you might be. I'm not that saying you're unchill or anything. Just, I don't think I mind as much as you do for a simple reason. I still prefer this over all the stupid horror games that just have you walking and getting stupid jump scares that aren't actually scary, and then it just ends. Or, like, maybe it's like, oh, this door needs a key. Why don't you rummage around this stupid environment looking for it for a while? Because that's fun. That builds tension. At least this is gameplay. You know? I guess that's the reason I don't mind it as much. Because unfortunately, the horror genre is a genre absolutely full of non-games. <laughs> games that barely should be considered games, in my personal opinion. Because they have so little going on. And the entire point is, oh, but it's, it's scary atmosphere, so it's supposed to engage you. And it's like, it rarely does, in my opinion. You know? So I prefer Slender-like over... No gameplay whatsoever, but it's trying to build an atmosphere, which doesn't, in my opinion, work. At least a horror game fan said it. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah, you could do better than this. I, I completely agree with you. Hi. Alright, wish me luck. I'm probably gonna dead end myself. Or maybe I won't. Oh, this works. Assuming he doesn't run at me and ruin everything. Okay, so I've got it. As long as he doesn't mess this up on me, he's probably going to mess this up on me. You notice how occasionally he just starts running? His glitchy-ass AI is going to cost me here. Oh god. You need to get... Serio? This is 1.3. Welcome back. This is 1.3. Lunar told me about 1.3. Also, yeah, it is around turns that he does it. Noted. Lunar told me about 1.3, and apparently you could take him out in the hallways now, according to him. Unfortunately, before he could reiterate how this works, he left. So... Now I'm left wondering if I'm actually... I was given incomplete information, and then the person giving the information left. Or we misunderstood. It's entirely possible I misunderstood. we misunderstood him. But, like, all of his statements together seem to conclude that there was a po it's possible to play him in the hallway. That being said, I certainly am trying here. And I'm not really seeing results. So I think when he said that wasn't supposed to happen when I did do that hallway inflation, I think he meant that I wasn't supposed to inflate him in hallways. Inflate in hallways for the small- yeah, yeah, you can inflate him partially in the hallways. I think you're right. So I- I, I feel pretty confident saying that I- I think- I think myth busted, right? Myth busted, I think that's fair- fair to say at this point. I 
feel like I am making them bigger, but I don't think I actually am. Where's the Great Hall? I don't actually know. Good morning, Syria. All right, myth busted. Yeah, I am slow. Yeah, you do slow him down doing this, but I don't think you can actually flame in the halls. Much as it seemed like that was possible, I think we have finally decided that that's just not the case. Would have been nice to add an alternate. Oh. How do we get back to the Great Hall? Ah. Alright, we're good. I'll just get him over to the Great Hall and we'll finish this. Hey, fat ass. Boom. Like, well, people that have never seen the show also say it. Well, we are busting a myth. I mean, that's a... Even if you haven't watched uh, Mythbusters, that's still a statement that makes logical sense. Hello? Oh, you motherfucker! You juked me! Oh, did you see that? I was like, oh, I guess he lost focus. I guess I'll walk towards him. And then he charged me. You motherfucker! You're a jerk. So you just lose if, uh, you don't inflate him fast enough, basically. But yeah, I guess that was Tonight It's Dangerous. A really neat image, a really neat horror, horror image that then got a story, that then got a game. Yeah, honestly, like, we immediately started playing once we were in here, so it really is just, yeah, that'd be in here. Sorry I made such a long playthrough for no reason. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed all the same. I feel like the roof should be a little higher, don't you? He kind of clips into it. So it probably should have been a higher roof. A lot of fun of helium sounds and stuff. Balloon sounds. Is it just me or is he getting bigger than last time? I think he just got a lot bigger than last time. No? I feel like this went on even longer. <laughs> like, my god. I feel him up on one side of the room and he still took up this much space. <laughs> the only thing that I find disappointing is that his collision hitbox doesn't increase with him. I feel like it totally should. Just so you can't, like, get around him and stuff. That would be kind of funny, in my opinion. Actually, I think you're right. I think he's the same size as before. Well, he, uh, we have made him one with the mansion. How nice. That was tonight's dangerous, amusing little horror game that I played for far too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it all the same, though.